Welcome to my messy garage. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you my rudimentary uh, water drip system that I added to my gasifier. Um, up to this point, I haven't been using extra water or any exhaust gas return or anything like that. So this will be a, a new step in my evolution of the machine. Um, basically, all it is is this is a, a stainless tub of some sort from a, an old water cooler. Um, it had a hole in the middle there that I filled with some JB Weld water weld and then uh, the drain right there um, and that goes down to uh, a compression fitting um, to basically transition that into quarter inch tubing uh, because it goes to this uh, it goes to this uh, man I don't know why it doesn't okay goes to this um, flange uh, flare fitting I guess I call them and then goes to this T uh, which has the valve in it and then it goes to this other T um, so that uh, I could hook up this um, fitting pointing down to another piece of quarter inch uh, copper tubing and then that goes down and um, up underneath I'll give a better view of the uh, the underside of this so uh, you can see how it actually is um, touching the nozzle uh, because the biggest thing is, you know, with a nozzle that's pointing straight up from the bottom, um, it's a little bit more difficult to add a water drip. So this is my first attempt to do that and hopefully it works. Um, just use some steel wire to at attach it to the body of the gas fire. And so I'll let me flip this thing over and I'll show you what it looks like underneath. Here's the bottom of the gasifier. Um, for those of you who haven't watched my earlier videos, the nozzle is right there. And basically this is a two inch pipe nipple with a two inch pipe cap and quarter inch holes drilled in it. And then basically this is the copper tubing obviously coming down and then it curves and then it kind of hooks onto the, um, this ledge that's between the pipe nipple and the, um, the cap. And so the, the hope is that the water is gonna come down slowly and then hit that, and as soon as it hits it, it's gonna, you know, convert it to steam because uh, it's so hot, and it'll suck it into the system and add some hydrogen to the mix. So uh, that's basically that. I'm gonna try it this weekend. Here's the bottom of the uh, the fittings and everything, um, how that's all set up, and hopefully it works. So wish me luck. So it seems like the when I add the water drip. When I add the water drip, it sustains much better. But as soon as I turn off the water, so now it's just going to be starting to burn carbon monoxide. It just doesn't seem like it's enough of a uh, energy density to keep going yep you can see it it thins out and then it just goes out that's amazing so eh, it's some noticeable difference that's kind of cool all right so the generator is running off of the charcoal with the water drip took me a while to get the air fuel right in actuality by the time I got it working right I just had to put the filter on there with the valve fully open but whatever so now it's running off of the charcoal and water drip and it's running through the filter that I made. It's basically just a, there's a T-junction there and there's a, uh, a ball valve and then a uh, plastic PVC pipe with holes drilled in it and a piece of foam over the top of it to make a filter. Hopefully you can hear this because it's kind of loud, but anyway, I thought you'd like to see it.
just tried it, I thought it wasn't going to work because I thought it controlled the gasoline itself, but I turned on the eco mode and uh, and it, it works. It, it slows the engine down to a kind of an idle and when you apply a load to it, I got this drill, when you apply a load to it, oh, that's awesome. I'm going to turn this off. Oh, that is so cool. I just want to make a quick video showing the amount of drop of the level of charcoal. Um, this is after about 35 minutes, 40 minutes of runtime, something like that. Um, basically, it's uh, seven inches from the bottom of this pipe down to the, uh, come on, focus, uh, down to the, um, the center deepest part of the, the charcoal right here. Um, obviously because this is a, a five gallon bucket this rim right here is going to catch charcoal so the charcoal is going to fall down in the middle before it you know falls in from the side so um so that's you know that's the deepest i've ever run it and uh the hose was almost mushy when i took it off so i was right on the cusp of being you know too hot for the exit gas um but it ran for about 40, 35, 40 minutes. Um, that was with the flare and the engine, um, you know, flare being, you know, maxed out or the engine itself uh, running. Something else that I noticed was uh, when I ran it on eco mode, the generator, uh, the unit, the gasifier unit couldn't stay hot enough to vaporize the water that was hitting the, the, um, the nozzle. There started to be a lot of drips coming it down, and as soon as I turned the uh, eco mode back on, uh, it you know obviously the RPM ramped back up to normal you know whatever it is 30, 3,000 RPM or whatever the generator runs at, and uh, and then all of a sudden within like two seconds the water stopped dripping because it was getting hot enough in the nozzle to vaporize it. So that was interesting. Um, other thing is this. Uh, valve here was getting really hot and I might need to um, rotate the the pail out so that this um, outlet comes out more this way and then I can move this out and at least up here it'll give me an extra few inches of clearance um, down here obviously it'll it'll continue to you know be close or whatever and again this this whole guys of fire isn't designed to be a you know long-running unit it's you know, an experimental thing. So 